We are learning more today about the sentencing of a UP man who was planning an attack against an East Lansing church. New Saints Megan Bunchman joins us with more on this. Megan. Brian Sue, good evening. A federal judge sentenced Sean Patia to 12 months and one day behind bars this morning after the UP man was convicted of making online threats against a synagogue. Now, last summer, the then 19 year old was indicted after he sent messages online to another individual overseas about his plan to commit a mass shooting that targeted the Jewish community. Patia pled guilty in November after investigators presented a string of evidence that included messages identifying a specific synagogue, a date of that planned attack, and guns, ammunition, and other tactical gear in his home up north. The defense argued that those threats were only verbal, no action was taken. That, coupled with a forensic exam that showed a delay in Patia's emotional and mental development, are part of the reasons he was sentenced on the lighter side today. That's according to the judge. I think what is most important here is that the system worked exactly like it, it should. We prevented a crime from happening. FBI was aware of what was happening. They took active steps to be able to incapacitate the defendant. And we're not here today talking about uh, cleaning up in the aftermath of a mass shooting. Uh, we prevented it from happening. It was very scary and um, also gives you pause as to why something that was going on in the defendant's life um, was then going to be turned around and taken out on us as a Jewish community. Paitia will also pay a little more than $10,000 in restitution to cover the cost of additional security at that synagogue, Brian.